This study shows that Doppler guided hemorrhoidal artery ligation does not offer any advantage over suture ligation of symptomatic hemorrhoids. If you like our channel, please hit the bell icon and subscribe. Neither sponsorship nor financial support of any kind was received for this study and there are no conflicts of interest in this presentation. Ligation of branches of sumire hemorrhoidal artery using Doppler assistance is being proposed as a treatment of grade 2 and 3 hemorrhoids. However, Residual prolapse have been reported at 15% to 50-60%. to 60%. To address this shortcoming, surgeons are coupling this with various mucopexy procedure. However, mere ligation of arterial branches are not enough to control the prolapse. To out overcome this pitfall, various additions have been made to address the hemorrhoidal prolapse. These are Procedure are known as rectoanal repair, transanal hemorrhoidal mucopexy, anal lifting and hemorrhoidal fixation technique. While our procedure of mucopexy, we perform a similar but simpler technique to tackle prolapsing hemorrhoid and call it as ligation and mucopexy of the hemorrhoid under vision. This is because hemorrhoidal vessels have a constant anatomical location and a stitch that is put on the base of the hemorrhoid will able to control the prolapse. Our procedure of ligation and mucopexy is designed to restore fixation of the prolapsing hemorrhoid to the underlying internal sphincter to reduce hemorrhoidal prolapse. Only visible hemorrhoids are tackled leaving behind the normal hemorrhoidal cushion to preserve their function. So only the symptomatic or presentable hemorrhoids are ablated. After ligating the pedicle of the hemorrhoid, the hemorrhoidal mass is sutured with one zero chromic catgut beginning from the most distal end of the hemorrhoid. From the dentate line, it is sutured towards the pedicle in a continuous locking manner. A knot is tied at the hemorrhoidal pedicle to secure the plication. This study was aimed to determining if ligation of branches of superior hemorrhoidal artery by Doppler assistance prior to mucopexy procedure offer any advantage. Patients were divided into two groups. One group has undergone mucopexy alone, while other group had ligation of branches using Doppler prior to mucopexy. Both the procedures were performed in the lithotomy position. After lubricating the anal canal, a special proctoscope equipped with a Doppler transducer was inserted. Once located, each artery was ligated through proctoscope. After performing this hemorrhoidal ligation, instrument was withdrawn and ligation of mucopexy was done. 48 consecutive patients with grade 3 hemorrhoids requiring surgery were randomized into two, half in each. Patients were assessed at 2, 4 and 6 weeks and then at 1 year after surgery. The blinded observer evaluated all the symptoms and presentation. Result, the duration of surgery was significantly higher in Doppler group. Post-operative pain was significantly in Doppler group. Analgesic dose and duration of pain were greater and longer for Doppler group. Complications were similar in both groups. At one year of follow-up, the recurrence of hemorrhoid was not statistically significant among both groups. With various studies carried out performing DGHL, it has been noted that reduction of blood supply into hemorrhoidal plexus may reduce the bleeding from the hemorrhoid but the prolapse does not fully disappear. While hemorrhoidal mucopexy not only reposition and fix the hemorrhoidal prolapse but is also successfully result in control of bleeding. So in conclusion, the procedure of mucopexy is simple, easy to learn and quick to perform. No special instrument is needed. Complications are easy to manage. It can be repeated. Long term result shows minimal recurrence and high patient satisfaction. This procedure. Suture Mucopexy of hemorrhoid is a simple, cost-effective and convenient modality. Doppler resistance to ligate hemorrhoidal vessel prior to suture ligation offers no advantage and is a time-consuming procedure. And mucopexy just follows a simple surgical procedure that is suturing. So if you like this presentation, please hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much.